Hello, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the video and today I have a very special video and this is a teaser trailer leaked for Assassin's Creed Rogue. Now there's not much audio so I'm just going to talk over it. When the actual trailer is released I'll talk more about it but this shows the, uh, what it was saying about the Assassin. Uh, look, you see this Templar sword there. Uh, he's got the Templar symbol on the hilt. He's got the hood. Um, the thing is, he's also got some kind of hidden blade there on his left, um, but this shows he is definitely a Templar, um, and in a minute you'll see that we are also playing as a pirate type person, not necessarily a pirate, but a captain of a ship of some description. Um, you can see he's walking straight, uh, following the trail of blood, most probably using some kind of eagle sense type thing, and there is an assassin there. Um, wearing quite a generic assassin outfit to be honest and we've got to say our main protagonist here does look pretty damn badass and having him in a game set as a Templar I think would be an amazing amazing thing in general um, but he just generally looks cool and then you can see this landscape it's all icy what does that mean like is that like I, I honestly have no idea and there we've got the assassin he's clearly hoping to see the Templar symbol again on his chest he gets the gun out of his back the musket uh, type thing he loads it and obviously he kills the assassin um, here now, I think. He stares for a bloody long time, doesn't he? And then he kills him. And then it comes up here with the logo. Um, obviously, when this trailer is actually released, uh, I'm going to make a proper in-depth video about it. Uh, but for now, um, just this is, is kind of good enough. That generally looks really cool. You can see, look, the Surge of Fort Disab and the Ultimate Hunter Pack, um, which shows maybe you're a Templar hunter. Maybe that's what this is. And then you've got the cover art album art there. Uh, album art, the cover there. So tell me what you guys think. Um, there are actually a few more images I just want to pop up now, just show you guys. And we'll go through those uh, now. And here we have the front cover just a bit closer up. Um, on the right, it actually just said available November 11th. Um, so that's obviously when the date when it's going to be coming out. Um, if it is real, that is. See, the thing is, I don't understand how you would fake this. Like, with the whole trailer and everything, how on earth could you go through all that and completely, like... CGI everything in the same way Ubisoft would have all of the like it's very accurate to be a very good fake and if it is then Ubisoft should probably hire that person because they're very good at obviously creating CGI but I do believe it's real um, with everything we've had going on there'd be uh, really little time between when AC Rogue was actually like shown like oh look here's a leak uh, it's going to be called AC Rogue to them making a fake CGI trailer it's going to be planned so I'm, g I'm going to say this is definitely real um, you see the boat in the background there, all the ice and snow. I wonder, what is that? Like, does that mean it's kind of going to be like an AC3 sort of... There's like the frontier area, which is all kind of... I don't know. Is it going to be like different kind of areas of the map are different types of seasons? So like, I'm obviously gonna, so it's obviously going to be the Atlantic. So does that mean you can sail like into the icy areas of the Atlantic? Because we do know obviously there's ice in the Atlantic. Does that mean you could kind of sail in that kind of area if it's set around New York? I'm guessing that's what it means, and the map is probably going to be pretty pretty big. Um, but this does look kind of cool, I guess. Like, I did love the sailing in AC4, and I didn't want it in Unity. But I guess for a last previous-gen game, then it's kind of alright just to have the boats... like the Sorry, not the boats, the ships in there again. Um, especially playing as Templar, giving it a new twist. You know, you can, you can feel good to be evil, and I think it's going to be pretty cool um, to play this game and actually have that, have that like feeling as playing as a Templar. Um, you can see the AC Rogue logo doesn't have the Assassin's Creed symbol in the background there, just simply because, obviously you're playing as a Templar, and the logo that was shown before, how it has all the slices, like the cuts through it, obviously that's because you are you, you are killing the Assassin, so you're slicing through the Assassins, that's that's the point of that, obviously, that's why it's like that. Um, but yeah, it does look cool, and it, there was a thing called the Fort de Saab mission, that's obviously, maybe that's got something to do with Robert de Saab, like, um, it's like a secret fort, uh, but I'm guessing they're using basically the same gameplay from AC a little bit AC4 but in a different setting um, and if New York's there I wonder if it looks the same as AC3 it'd be kind of nice to revisit actually to be honest even though it was shit like it'd be kind of nice to revisit it it's like in Brotherhood when you do those Christina missions and you revisit the place from AC2 it's like ah, oh, it's quite nostalgic this but yeah that'd be really cool can't wait to see some more on this game when the actual trailer comes out I'll do a full proper breakdown for you guys where I'll go through it I'll analyse everything we can we can look at it you guys can comment tell me what you think but this is it for now and I'll see you guys next time Bye. Dreams are running deep in ship to ship. Dreaming my life with our all this shit. But lately I've been, I've been playing hard. Some no more shooting cannons, I'll be sailing far. Play down running deep in ship to ship. Dreaming my life with our all this shit. But lately I've been, I've been playing hard. Some no more shooting cannons. I'll, I'll be sitting